Okay, there it is. So in this uh, direct light, I have my direct light, which is a Maya light, and I can find it here in rendering, this one. Again, that already shows you that the rays are parallel, and I am using an area light. I could actually also put the area lights in these windows, okay, and in this door, but uh, for the purpose of this example, I don't really need it, okay? So um, why do I use the directional lights? I already mentioned it because my sun doesn't have decay, so my rays are parallel, so I have to use that one. And I have to deal with uh, the fact that it's Maya. So it has uh, the Arnold uh, tab here, and I already changed the temperature. It's usually on 6,500, so I put it in 6,000, okay? Uh, and I put the intensity in two, but everything else is, is left the same. So I'm gonna open my light blister. I'm gonna turn off my area light. Okay, and I'm going to render this. So, why am I using the area light? Because the area light is the one that is gonna give you the least noise that is going to calculate the fastest, and it has more options, okay? So, if I can do everything with area light, that's how I'm going to do it, okay? So, if you add yourself a um, directional light, okay, this parallel light, it's not gonna look like this. Okay, because the first thing you notice when you take this light is that you're gonna have really hard shadows. So if I go to my attributes and here on Arnold, I change the angle so to zero. This is what you usually get, this harsh light. Okay, but in this combination of directional light with area light, that's never gonna look good because for me in order to have such a hard light, then I have a clear sky and a lot of contrast. I cannot achieve that clear sky feeling with the fake area lights. So I'm better off putting a soft light, you know, so that the shadows are not so strong. I'm going for a more, for an overcast kind of day, like a cloudy day, so that whatever I'm faking looks a little bit more realistic, okay? So what happens with this light is that I don't really, I would have to increase the bounces so much that this is not completely dark that this is why I use my area light, okay? So uh, the only value that you have to consider here is changing your color temperature, okay, and using the angle. That's for the Maya directional light. I'm gonna turn off the directional light now. I'm gonna turn on the area light. So uh, I put already the exposure in 17. That's the only difference you're gonna have. Okay, and uh, why is this levels of 17 usually for this scale, for what I noticed? Between 15 and 18, it's already starting to be all right, okay? Uh, so when we see this scene right now, it doesn't really look like the light is coming from the outside on an overcast day because it has decay. So it actually looks like I have some sort of, of uh, artificial light, okay? That's a problem with my area light. It's never gonna look natural. And that's why I have to combine it with the directional light. So somehow it looks like it works, okay? So uh, I'm gonna turn on my directional light now. So now because of this sort of uh, uh, light coming here, creating this different shadow, then it feels like I actually have a, sor uh, a source of light coming from the window from an overcast day, okay? Now, if I want to increase this, I could do it either, if I do it in the area light, then I'm gonna have a very homogeneous bouncing going on, so I better do it with my directional light, okay? You can pick both, and in both you can increase the samples so that you have less noise. I'm not moving the samples right now because as soon as you increase the samples, it's gonna take longer to render, okay? So I'm just gonna take a snapshot of this, and now I'm going to increase the samples of my directional light, the visibility in direct, so let's put about five. Okay, now I have the difference between a little bit darker and a little bit brighter, but the difference is not that much, right? You actually see that the difference is that I have more color in the light because it's a bleeding from my walls and my, and my ground, okay? So, uh, 
I could get away but not using the area light at all and just putting a lot of indirect lights in my direct light but that's gonna cause a lot of color bleeding okay and I don't necessarily need it because all I want is to make this brighter okay so this is why we use the area lights especially for this kind of combination all right so those were the two options for daylight sky dome and light portals okay and directional light and area lights 